Hello everybody, we are in Beneshev, Czech Republic. This is my shop 50 Rocks, let's check it out. So the idea of the shop became already when I was 15, that means seven years ago, I guess, was the first time I was like, oh, I would like to have something like that and to, you know, be in this business. Everything is basically because of the pit bikes and this scene around no, the 50 Rocks name is because of the 50s. We really try to build some pit bike freestyle motocross scene or at least to show the people that ride to pit bike is a lot of fun and way better than sit somewhere in a pub for, you know, all day long. Libor lives with his family and girlfriend in the country about an hour away from the hectic town of Benesov. Welcome to my room. In this part of the room, there, here are my trophies. Uh, those two are most important for me. It's for Wise World Champion in Freestyle Motocross, FIM, so I'm glad for that. Of course, his babies aren't far away as his training ground is right behind his house. Now we are in my garage. You can see here like my helmets uh, since this one 2006 season, this one is 2007, and this one is 2008. You can you can see pretty good that this one is two years older than this one. I'm using that for foam pit, just, I'm sorry. But thank you very much, it was a great time. Yeah, there is, here is my, my motocross bike because I like to ride motocross still a lot and it's very good for physical condition. And right here we have my freestyle motocross bike. It's just two same bike like my motocross bike, also Suzuki 252 stroke, just I have also this funny mirrors which we're using for backflip combinations like super flips and indie flips and a lot of backflip combinations. And those small bikes are our pit bikes because we really like to ride pit bikes and it's a lot of fun. It's just perfect. You need to have one pit bike. So that was all from my garage and see you later, alligator. It's essential for riders to own a training ground in what is one of the fastest developing sports around and Libor's is in his backyard. Hi, uh, we are now in Znosim, Czech Republic, uh, the village where I live and where I also practice and where is my foam pit park. You can see I have a 9 meter radius ram here on 22, 23 meters, 8 meter radius on 20. I have also super kicker here. It's like set up on 10 meters. We used to ride on mini bikes on it. And we also have a ramp for BMX and for, for mini bikes here. So we can like more guys ride here and have more fun when it's better weather than today. As you know, foam pit is sometimes pretty hard actually for plastic parts on your bike. So here is our wall of kind of fame. You can see the rear fender from Lucas Fars, Germany. David Rasek, and this is a pretty funny story of the one guy from Czech. He never rode a bike before. He wanna, his first jump on a motorcycle was a backflip. We told him, just pull how hard you can. He did it. But he pulled very, very hard. Strong guy. Thanks to his training ground and his ambition, Libor has rapidly developed his skills in the last years. I would say that if I set up some ambitions, I really want to do it. Like I will do it very hard till I catch the, the finish line. And then I'm gonna take it easy for a while. So that I have month when I'm like sitting on the bikes almost every day, killing myself into the foam pit. And I really like it and I really like, oh, next day morning, wake up, uh, come on, do it. And you're gonna learn this trick and this trick. Like really, really, really pushing and really motivated myself and then, I'll show the people what I learned on some contests and you know use that use that power of of that practice and then I like to have like one month easy just holidays or you know to re to relax when I'm out there on the, on the show in front of the audience I'm just on my bike and I'm putting all my you know when when it would be 
a hundred Pamela Anderson girls in the audience, I wouldn't see it because I'm just 100% in my run. When I'm finished run and it's good and I knew that I did a, like, a good job, uh, thinking also about that uh, hard months, you know, in your head which you spend into the foam pit or, or dirt or those scratches, and then you just, you know, so happy that, that you did it and you just feel like, you know, want to scream. I just want to scream when I finish my run and all is fine. It seems to be for me that I don't want to never stop with freestyle motocross, you know. That's the situation, how is it right now?